Shantae, and you're watching Shake It Up with Shantae. If you've been here before, welcome back, and thank you as always. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be showing you my way of how I fry my cabbage. This is a fried cabbage tutorial, how I do it my way, and it's really simple. It's going to be really quick, so I need you to really pay attention. Now, let's shake something up. All right, so... What we will be using is a little bit of vinegar, some complete seasoning, some onion powder, some paprika, a little garlic powder, some accent, a little salt, and of course I have my whole head of cabbage that I've already cut up. I have a whole cup of red and yellow bell peppers that I've already chopped up, and this is my leftover bacon that I fried in my cast iron skillet right here. I left the drippings, the fat from the bacon. This is what I, this is what I will be using to fry my cabbage in. And I also added a little bit more oil to this, just regular cooking oil, about a half a cup. So it's already on cooking low. I'm gonna go ahead at this point and put my cabbage in. I told you it was gonna be kinda quick, so I need you guys to pay attention, all right? Normally when you buy a head of cabbage, like if you buy it in the summertime, it has a, a very dark green, leafy top part of the cabbage on there. If, if you happen to have a cabbage like that, cut the green part off first, chop that up, and cook it for about six minutes before you put this light part in there. Fortunately, my cabbage did not have um, the dark green on, on top of it, the dark leafy greens on top. So I'm just going to put this in, this in here like so, directly in my oil. I didn't add anything else to my oil. It's just the grease from the bacon. And I add a little bit of extra oil to that. So that is my cabbage. And I am going to add my bell peppers right on top of that. These can all cook at the exact same time. Like so. Okay. So I'm going to let, let this sit here for about three to four minutes as it welts down. It is going to cook down to a very small amount. It looks like a lot, but it's not. I'm going to stir this in the oil in about two minutes. And then I will add my seasoning. All right, so it has cooked down just a little bit. Um, I've kind of stirred everything and mixed it in. Okay, now I am going to add my seasoning. Okay. And then once I add my seasoning, I'm gonna turn it, well, I can go ahead and do that now. Turn it up a little higher than what I have it on. So it can really start frying in this uh, bacon grease and oil. That is going to give this cabbage, this fried cabbage, a very good taste. Okay. So I'm going to add some accent. Remove this for a second. I'm going to add a little accent. All right. Some garlic powder. Garlic powder and onion powder does not have any salt in it, so you can add as much as you like. I like onion powder and I like garlic powder. I'm going to add some smoked paprika in this. Oh, God, you ought to smell that smoked paprika. It smells so good. I'm also going to add some complete. Y'all know I love this stuff, and I put this on everything. It has a little salt, but not as much. And then I'm going to add some salt. Okay. Now, according to what seasoning you, you like, you can add whatever seasoning you, you want to add. It is your cabbage. Um, and I'm showing you guys how I make my fried cabbage my way. And those are the seasonings that I use. Um, so you will see me a lot of times using those seasonings because that's really what I like. But they're all substitutable, and you can use whatever it is you want to use. So I'm going to let this cook for maybe about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and add my vinegar. Do not put a top on it, you guys, if you're cooking this, because if you put a, top, a lid on this, it is going to steam, and it's not going to be fried. So don't put a lid on it. And then I'm gonna add the bacon. Once I add the um, vinegar, I'll add the bacon after that. So I'm gonna let this cook for about eight to 10 minutes and I will be back. 
All right, y'all, it has been 10 minutes. It has been cooking now for about 10 minutes. You see all that goodness, all the season is mixed up in there. Now I am going to add about two tablespoons of vinegar. Regular white distilled vinegar. Now, if you don't like vinegar, you don't have to add it. I'm just showing you how I cook mine. And this is how I cook it. And I'm going to add these bacon that I crumbled up. I'm going to add that at this point. Okay, that's going to give it even more flavor. Now, if you want to switch up your veggies for this, you can because all of this stuff is substitutable. You can change your veggies if you want to use um, green bell peppers, onions. You can do that as well. I'm just showing you guys how I make my fried cabbage. This is the way I have been making my fried cabbage for years. This is the way my husband and my children eat it. So they love it like this. They don't like nobody else's cabbage but mine. So I'm going to give this another maybe five minutes and this will be done. Be right back. All right, you guys. It has been now approximately about 15 minutes that this cabbage has been cooking. And it is done. It is done. I'm going to go ahead at this point and turn the stove off. Yes, honey. Yes. My cabbage is completely done. And it smells so good. Look at look at that. Look at that. Look at those pretty vegetables in there and those bits of bacon. Oh my God. This is absolutely amazing. Let me grab my own little plate or a little bowl. Because you all know I have to try this for you all. I made some buttermilk cornbread to go along with this. And I also made a coin casserole. Okay, let me grab a fork. All right, y'all, look at this cabbage. Look at this cabbage. All right. My mouth is watering for this. I can smell the vinegar, a little bit of it. I can smell the paprika. I can smell the garlic powder. Mm, mm, Y'all see my mouth is watering. Woo, this is hot too. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I could just give you a bite. This is so good, look. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Only thing missing is a piece of cornbread. This is so good, y'all. Y'all don't need nothing with this. I know y'all want to put some hot sauce on it. You can if you want, but it doesn't need any. It do not need any hot sauce. So. I'm gonna get ready and enjoy this. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and this video on how I make my fried cabbage, if, if you have enjoyed this, please go ahead and subscribe because I know you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Until next time, bye.